Hey, what is up UBA fans? It's me, PS Freak 33 and today we're going to be changing up a little bit instead of showing you a Black Ops 2 glitch. We felt like going on a bit of an older COD, and that is Mall for 2 on the map Quarry. And we're going to be showing you how to get outside the map, not using any knife lunges or care packages. Which is quite amazing, because before when this glitch originally came out to get outside the map, it involved three care packages, all vertical. We end up managing to narrow it down to just one horizontal care package, but now we eliminated them entirely. Now it's just pure shock and jumps, nothing else. And you can see from here, due to the original method of getting outside the map, a lot of you guys will probably know this already, how to do it. At the very beginning, you get up like one of three ways. Like, it's kind of like easy to do, but that strafe right there from the light post, that rock can be quite annoying because the pole gets in the way. You can always get someone to shock and jump you if you're having a lot of troubles, but yeah, you'll figure it out. But um, yeah, so we're going to be showing you how to get outside the map and just with shotgun, uh, shotguns only. Nothing, no care packages, no nothing, which is pretty awesome. So um, yeah, just keep hanging up the way that we're showing you here in the video. Now once you get to this point, people used to think that you need a care package here. But there is actually a way where you can shotgun jump and it's a bit difficult. But I'll show you right here, you can see me right below right now with the shotgun, I'm just go to the edge as far as you can, you have to kind of go back a fair way, so you kind of take a big run jump as you're getting shotgunned, and you should be able to get on there, and then turn around, do a 180, and you should be able to jump right on top of this rock up here. But yeah, the other day we were doing some glitches on um, Mono for Two because we had a really good idea, and um, except we didn't get quite around to it, but then we kind of screwed around a quarry, and I thought that maybe we can get outside quarry with just shotgun jumps, so... Near the end it might get a bit difficult for you guys, but it works and it's pretty cool. For experienced shotgun jumpers, this will be pretty fun. And it might even become easy as easy to you, it all depends. Everyone's has different levels. But as you can see, once you get the first person up the hard way, you can get everyone else up the easy way. As you just saw all three of us get up pretty simple there. Now from this point on in the video, what you have to do is you kinda have to come over here. I just kinda had to get behind my friend here, so he's going over here, and then you get someone to shotgun jump right behind you onto the ledge in front. And then basically you're going to have to pull a 180 and get around to the other side. But I'm just going to get up off my friend Conbot here. And then we'll get we'll continue on. Now the next shock and jump, just make sure that you don't actually run. Because if you end up running, you'll probably go flying right on over the entire rock. And you'll miss your mark every time. So what Conbot's going to do here when I shoot him is just jump. Don't even bother running, just jump. You'll pretty much get it almost every time. If you run, you're probably going to go flying right over it. So now you can just get a friend to shotgun you, you, but instead I'm going to stay down here. We actually got this all in one go here, which is quite amazing. This shotgun jump is pretty hard. That, that I have to say, this is the, probably the hardest shotgun jump with this whole glitch, other than the last one that we're going to have to do a double shot for. That's going to be the tricky one. But that jump that we just did right there is a bit difficult. But once you're up here, just kind of do a jump across, around the corner, and then just do a small strafe, and you get on top of here. And so far, we haven't used any care packages, which that's nothing new. Where we used to use a care package is up ahead, we used to use a horizontal one. I'll point out when you come to the point, but we're not there yet. And for those people who are wondering where I've been all that, it's a bit of a long story, so I'm not going to get quite into it. But I might be coming back, I might not, all depends on some things. But for now, I'm kind of helping out. So um, here's the hard part. See how my friend Cinnamon14 and me are down there? We're both shooting him at the same time as he does a strafe. You guys can go back and watch that. It's just it's a bit difficult because you actually have to do a strafe and it's a really awkward spot to shotgun. You'll find out when you actually try to shotgun somebody and you have to double shot them. So you need to get two people to shoot them. We both had Spaz 12s. One person was on the lower ledge and I was on the higher ledge and we both shot him at the exact same time as he strafed on over. It's a pretty hard shot but as you can see we got both him and Napes over. We kind of chilled back while they did this. Because now there's only two easy shotgun jumps left, and then you're basically outside the map, which is pretty awesome. Seeing how we used to have a care package where we were just jumping over there, we were actually um, using a care package there before. Now we just got rid of them entirely, which is pretty awesome. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see more Mod for Two glitches, just leave a comment below and let us know if you guys like the content. Maybe we can get on top of Quarry Sky Barrier or something like that without hacks and stuff. We can try stuff like that or get outside of new maps. Just leave us a comment, see what you guys like. We like to hear your feedback and how you like it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep on glitching.